What I recommend with anybody, camera rolling right now. But what I recommend with anybody, clip it closer up to your mouth so they can hear you when you speak in the microphone. Now, if you had a hat or whatever, you can clip it to your hat. I just tell them to uh, clip it closer to their mouth so the audience can hear you. And we are good. All righty. Anyway, so before I begin, I got to do this little promo real quick. Well, not a little promo, but I want to take this time and give uh, Worlds a, uh, a shout out. Uh, best gym in the world in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina produces the best bodybuilders, powerlifters, strongmen, Olympic lift lifters, boxers, as you can see. Um, I want to give a big shout out to uh, uh, Coach Antonio for allowing me to uh, uh, interview uh, one of his trainees. Other than that, I'm going to stop yapping. So for my, my bad, not really. But so for my channel, this isn't organized. I don't got no pen and no paper or anything. Right. I'm not going to. All I, where I start with is, hey, can you introduce yourself to my audience? You can look at the camera the whole time. You can look at me, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And we'll go from there as soon as you introduce yourself. So with that being said, please introduce yourself to my audience. What's going on, everybody? My name is Danny Sunday, also known as Dizzy. Um, I'm from California. Hey. <laughs> Um, I'm here in the military and I trained with Coach Antonio. I've been boxing for a little over three years and I love him ever since. So allow me to start with uh, where did boxing start for you? Did it start as an adult or did it start as a child? Yeah, it started as an adult. My original passion was like football and okay. basketball most of my life. But uh, when COVID hit, a lot of things happened around that time for me to want to get that competitive drive back. Mm -hmm. And I felt like instead of basketball, because we need to organize team and other people, why not get in front of I've been in plenty of street fights back in the day, and I was about to say, I feel like I can get it in. For real, let me actually put this to the test. So I'm going to start at a base because you mentioned uh, basketball, so sport-oriented and your military. So how long were you? I'm going to bring it full circle when we get into school. You know, we always have a, we have a beginning to uh, and always have everything we have in the end. So your, your interest in uh, basketball, where did that start? Um, I've been playing ball since I was five years old. Mm -hmm. um, my great grandma. You're good at it. You, you yeah, know, Kobe. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I played I play varsity ball for three years. Okay. Um, I had aspirations to go D1. I didn't get the chance in the grade. Make sure those ones who are younger, make sure you take care of your grades, man. It'll, it'll hit you in the long run if you didn't take care of that. But um, I, I definitely had aspirations. I just didn't make the team or my grades weren't. I was on the next step. But ever since I was five, I've been begging my mom to play, 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 watch my older cousin play. My great grand uncle, I sat down and watched the Lakers play the Super Sounds. Hey, all right, all right. <laughs> I've been watching and playing ever since, you know, all right, pretty cool. Yeah. So if you allow me to ask this, because so th th that's a really good base on me. So, like, what was the training regime? Like, you were in, introduced to an aspect of fitness with, with that. So what was the training regime? Like, was it a lot of cardio? Was it a lot of running? Was it a lot of suicides? <laughs> Don't block me. I ain't my size yet. But, but, but it, 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 was it a... The training regime, your, tra your training regime in basketball, like, what was that like, out of curiosity? It's sport oriented. That's what I'm asking. Back in the <laughs> damn, I don't, I'm not old by any chance, but like back in the day, in mm -hmm. the early 2000s, like I was one of those kids that just wanted to be in the neighborhood playing ball. We can you know, dribble the ball, just go block and block, dribble the top thing with my players, and they get kids out. Um, I'll be outside my my house shoes for like hours. I'm talking well, about like basketball that was like yeah. shredded out ashy. Like all the hoopers know what I'm talking about when playing that hoop. Just playing all day nonstop, looking for the next best competition, trying to take my school to the next person. We were just shooting for hours and hours and hours. You got a very competitive spirit about yourself, huh? Yeah, I, I love, love, okay. I love you, it. With you giving that little tidbit right there, it kind of, I, I sense that I was able to call it. <laughs> so, uh, um, so, with that being said, so you touched on, you know, the plan for basketball, get that. So, I'm assuming that's where the military came into play? The military came in this way as far as people are dying. Okay. Keep talking, keep talking. I got to grab my time. We're good. Keep talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're good. In the sense of like, when I graduated high school, I wasn't able to go to the next level mm -hmm. because of my grades and stuff. 
everybody, man, how you gotta make ends meet? My mom always taught me, like, hey, you can't just be leeching and yeah. each other or whomever. You gotta make That's money. most mothers, believe it or not, you know I promise you. Yeah. So it was one of those, all right, well, let me see what the world is like now that I'm not underneath my mom. Yeah. It was cool. I worked a few couple warehouse jobs, government jobs, mm-hmm. and then, you know, being young and dumb, trying to be out there in the street. I got laid off from fire, and I was like, yo, I got to figure something out. It was good on Uncle Sam? Yeah, it was either that, or I buried I myself in student mean. loans in college. Okay, I know. So I was like, let me go ahead and take the test and see what happens. So um, I want to touch on that. Then we're going to get into it. It's the vegetables and the potatoes. Nobody like that. We're going to no diddy, but we're going to get to the meat soon, I promise you. So what was life for you when you, were, when you joined? So you say you're from California. So, so uh. I'm trying to speak out of ignorance. Everybody sees the West Coast. No, yeah. So yeah. So so what was that like? You know, joining the military and then you know, all the relocating and everything that you did. What was that like? Was it kind of like a culture shock to see how the world kind of operated, moving so from, from 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 there to this rap hole? But anyway, yeah, from there to yeah. yeah. So my life is a little complicated for different reasons. My high school year yeah. of freshman, I joined in 09. When I went in 09, I moved to Texas. So from Texas to oh, 09. Oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> from 09. You was in the South for real. Yeah, so okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So from 09 to 16, when I joined the military, I've always been in Texas. Okay. So, Texas was like a second home slash home for me. Uh, did you like the the, the southern hospitality out of curiosity? It was that yeah. and the culture shock. Okay. Fast paced every day, like doing things the fortunes, the little stand upness about being in Cali, the ruggedness of it, to being to a slow pace, like quiet. Empty, quiet okay. Yeah. It was a huge culture shock. You like the South at all? I love the South. I, I ended up. I'm you ain't gotta say that, but it is your turn to say. Yeah, yeah. For for me, it was very beneficial for me to be in the South because I truly feel like had I stayed in Cali, I would be I would be self destructed. So. Before you got into boxing, because again, basketball was your base. Like, did you try to pursue that or continue that while you were in the military? Basketball? Yeah, did you yeah, 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 yeah. I played yeah, my first game station. I played on the coast team mm-hmm. at Fort Riley, Kansas. Mm-hmm. And then here at Fort Bragg, Fort Livingston, now I played on the coast team as well for a little while. So, you know, so it was COVID hit and that stopped and that stopped. So with that, what was in, in, inspiration on that for the like? Like, did you know somebody? Did you see somebody? Was it was it Floyd always getting them wins and shit? So, but yeah, so 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 so, what was the trigger? Like, 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 did you just what was the trigger for it? Cause I know you say COVID, but like, what happened or what did you see to go? Okay, time to knuckle up. So, um, nineteen. I had aspirated. I had thoughts about my man. I, I think we might need to give it a try. It looks fine. It looks cool. But I want to actually learn and skip up self, for self defense. Okay. If, you, if I have to use that, whatever it is. Even though you already had the, the, the how do I word it? The, uh, the street scuffle experience. Yeah, with, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if I ever ran into a dude that actually know what he was doing. Oh, you wanted to be ready. Yeah, like whatever the case may be, or it didn't matter if it was a dude that was your size or whatever. I wanted to be confident enough to mm-hmm. stand man down without fight or flight take kicking. Okay, I got like, you. You don't have to show me you everything you talking about. You know what I'm saying? And I carry that same energy. In the ring, from oh, outside the ring, just standing oh, in the Oh, you got you. Okay, that's and, but as far as like what drove me into what? boxing, it was just the head of the table. That's really what it was. Uh, I had ended up deploying, so it took like a year away from me because COVID hit, and then I ended up deploying to go to Iraq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Most definitely. Thank you for the support. That, that came around full circle after I came back. I was like, man, fuck, I'm really about to dive in and try. Like, I try to have people come in just to have that kind of faith haven or, like, that brother be like, just come and let's try it. And nobody would want it. Really. It was about to say, fuck it. What's that? It's me. I'm doing it. I'm going to see. Damn. Who damn it? 
Yeah. This is where my, my thought is on that. Um, this ain't about me, this is about you. So this is a 30 second tip here. Martial arts, whether it's boxing or a grappling sport or whatever, you have to have a warrior spirit about you. You can't, to an extent, you can't be gentle doing this. And I don't sense that about you at all. So just, I'm but, a, but, but <laughs> I'm a very kind, mm-hmm. loving person. No, 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 track. I feel like most fighters are to some extent. Mm-hmm. It's just, what are you doing? Not bringing it out of them to get out of character. <laughs> so uh, allow me to ask this, then we'll, we'll, we'll also bring it back to our boxing because you are in the military. A lot of people don't know what we really sacrifice in this. You know, they 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 can assume some people be, and I call because we were like that too. We call it ignorance because they can only go based off what they see on TV and the movies and or the news. Correct, but but has boxing helped helped you with your your temperament as far as still serving and then? Doing your boxing regime out of curiosity, like like the highs, the lows, and all that, like the gloves, like, do, do they help with the overall temperature? So, yeah, yeah with the intensity, mm-hmm. um, right? Um, my mom passed away a couple weeks ago, so called up, man. So uh, that was more of a driving factor because I had already learned to box for full. Okay, but doing this was just like let me actually try it just to keep that competitive nature going and just to learn a trade or a skill, a life skill, so to speak, and just keep my mind off of everything that was going on. So a lot of happened for me personally during COVID. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. As far as, like, doing it for real, it was just, I just wanted to do something to keep going. Yes, sir. It, was, it wasn't a matter of, like, okay, it's the military, this, or whatever, the my life has its own structure. The military adds its time, spot, and things. But it just more so. Amen. Yeah, it just more so yeah. keeps it just keeps me level. Like I go to work and deal with the people at work, and I know I look forward to coming in the gym, working with Coach Antonio and the rest of the guys. So this is like this gym specifically for me is like my family, extended family. It's like a tribe. And everybody sees us training. Everybody sees us working, meeting, agreeing, and stuff like that. Like, people know, hey, that's busy up there working. They see the work I put into me, how hard coach coaches and everybody else around. They, they know who the leaders of the group are with me, Reese, uh, Coach, and some of the other guys that are here that are trying to clean up. Like, the real stake is still strong. Like, right? mm-hmm. like, trying to keep it going, keep it pushing. So, I just look forward to being a guy as well. Thank you for sharing that thought to me. Blessings to you and yours, brother. All right. So with that, um, you got into boxing. Um, so a couple of questions I want to ask, like, so, so what was it like when you when you first started the regime? Like, what expectations did you? What's the what? What's the term we use in the military? Uh, expectation, reality, or or something along those lines. What were the expectations that you had coming in this, and and what were some of the things that I guess it was like? All right. It's not like how I thought, but it's still good for you to keep going in this. Does that does that question make sense? The expectation mm-hmm. of boxing was um, just being it. So honestly, in all honesty, boxing you got amateur boxing, mm-hmm. you got pro boxing. Mm-hmm. What we all see for the most part is the pro. Okay. The first, the grand nigga thing. Mm-hmm. That's what we see. Mm-hmm. But for those that don't know about martial arts sports, you got amateur. Mm-hmm. Amateur is essentially like college. Mm-hmm. And then pros is like the big time. You know, I gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But some people, the thing is, a lot of people just jump straight into the college. What was it like in that movie Creed 3 when Buddy yeah. got out of Yeah, uh, that's literally like how it is. As a pro, you can just jump in the fire. Like, all you have to do is get Ooh, in shit. touch with a promoter, whatever the case may be, fight that night, and as soon as that bell rings, you finish that round, you're officially a pro. You can't go back. There's no going back. We gonna touch on that in a second. No, 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 because now I got some, but but I'm gonna remember these because it's kind of like okay, we gonna touch on that. Give me about five minutes. So anyway, so you start your training regime. So so did you go solo at first, or, or did you run right into Coach Antonio and, and he got you right? So we um, I was I was shopping around a different gym locally, mm-hmm. just trying to get a feel for like what they do, how welcoming, how honest they were, and uh, at the time we had another supply. Reese was uh, Reese was the pro. Reese was the guy, and Reese was very welcoming and informational. 
If you allow me to actually re- research the first sergeant, right? Yeah. I definitely have to sit down and <laughs> yeah, but No, no, so my, my bad. So what I do is when somebody says a name on my channel, like I want to bring them to my channel because it's all linked. Yeah, yeah, so, but, 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 yeah, 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 for sure. Mm-hmm. 